What's up guys, it's Dallas with SoftModder, and today I'm going to show you how to get a Moto X-like gesture that will launch your camera app from any screen. I'm using a Galaxy S5 for this, but the app should be compatible with almost any Android phone, and root isn't even required. It works better on some phones than it does others, so your experience may not be quite as smooth as this. But for a full tutorial on this one, including all the links you'll need, check out the corresponding article I wrote over to the link in the description below this video. The app that makes this all possible is called Quick Camera, which is developed by Suya Srijan. It's currently in its beta phase, so it's not available for immediate download on Google Play. Instead, you'll have to join Quick Camera's Google Plus beta community to unlock the app in your Play Store. If that sounds too complicated, trust me, it's not. Just use the links that I provided in that article, and you'll have the app installed in no time. But let's say you've done all that, and the app is now installed on your phone. I'll go over some initial setup here so you can see what's what. When you first open the app, you'll see a single button that says, Not Activated. That's basically the on-off switch for the Quick Camera service. But before we get into all of that, let's check out some settings. Hit the three-dot menu button up top and head into Settings, then choose App Settings. In here, you can set whether or not you want the app to utilize your phone's proximity sensor to prevent unwanted camera starts while your phone is in your pocket. That's a great idea, since this app can actually skip the lock screen and go directly into your camera, and who wants pictures of the inside of their pocket? The only downside to this is that it does add a bit of battery drain, so you'll have to see if the trade-off in functionality is worth it to you. Next we have Run On Startup, which means that the service will always be running, starting as soon as you boot up your phone. Then there's a screen off only setting that would make the gesture only work when your phone's not awake. After that there's Night Mode, and if you toggle this to On, it lets you set the times that the service will stop running so that you don't drain any unnecessary battery. Last is Quick Capture, which sounds cool talking about faster camera access, but unfortunately the option is disabled on my phone. Now if we head back out to the main screen and jump into settings again, we can check out the gesture settings. These let you do things like set the vibration intensity, the gesture timeout, and enable fast polling mode, which I'd suggest. One last menu entry that we should have a look at is gesture calibration. If you feel that the gesture is too difficult to perform, you can jack these values down and make it more sensitive. If you notice that the camera keeps popping up when you didn't mean to perform the gesture, you can bump these up a notch or two to make it less sensitive. Okay, so now let's hit the activate button and see the sucker in action. Just like with the Moto X, you just quickly twist your wrist a couple of times, then you'll feel the vibration that means that the gesture was recognized. After that, the camera app starts up and you're ready to take a picture faster than ever. The gesture even works with the screen off, so it's really handy. But yeah, for the full breakdown, be sure to check out that article. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy soft modding.